Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop for a wood turning uh, tip of the week. Y'all ever do any finishing on the lathe, friction polish, uh, maybe some scratch free kind of kind of stuff? Sure you do. Well, one of the things that, that I do the same thing and, and what I like to do is take uh, pieces of uh, paper towel, what some folks I think down maybe uh, uh, overseas call kitchen paper, and I like to uh, tear it into into strips. Now the easiest way I found to do that is if you have a little container like this and they just pull out and tear off just like uh, just like tape. Now this is not original idea. I got this tip from uh, Mark Soleil. It's a, it's a wonderful idea. So you get a uh, a tin of cookies, Danish butter cookies, somewhere around two and five eighths inch uh, uh, deep to about six to seven and a half inches in, in diameter. Big, basically it's got to be big enough to to hold some cut off uh, paper paper towels like this. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Y'all can see that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take you a, uh, cut you a little round dowel. Uh, I call it a dowel but you're going to turn this right. Uh, about an inch and a half so it'll fit inside that that roll of roll of paper. Measure your kitchen paper if you're not sure. Uh, turn it, mark it off, and and then part it off so it won't uh, interfere with the top going on. You're going to mount it in the middle with one screw coming in from from the back side like that. Now here's where it gets a, the, the only tricky part is you're going to cut a slot, not all the way up to the edge, but up to the to where the uh, the top the top joins. You're going to cut a slot. Let me tear that out and poke it back in there. You can see, maybe you can see that a little bit better. You're going to cut that uh, uh, slot about an eighth of an inch, three millimeters wide for you metric folks. Um, and the easiest way I found to do that is to use a Dremel cutoff tool. So simply mark to the edge of where you're going to cut with a uh, felt tip pen, like I say, about three millimeter or an eighth of an inch wide. And the easiest way is to use a cutoff cutoff wheel, uh, a Dremel or a rotary tool. This is a Black & Decker knockoff and that works works real well. You can just cut that thing out real 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 easily. So after you get that slot cut you're just about done. The only thing left, put a magnet on the back of this thing so it'll just stick on the back of your uh, your lathe. Uh, if you got access to any old hard drives, they got some wonderful magnets in those hard drives. So if you know an IT person, uh, these drives keep getting bigger and bigger and they throw out some of the old ones so that might be something to look at. Now, here's the tricky part. When you go to cut this thing, leave it in the package, measure how wide it needs to be, maybe put it up against the fence on your bandsaw, and uh, like I say, leave it, in the, leave it in the wrapping and cut this thing off of your bandsaw. Now, I usually only use one blade, and that's 3 8 inch, 3 teeth, real aggressive, makes a nasty cut, shreds the paper a little bit. That's why you want to cut through some uh, painter's tape. If you got a finer blade, that works even better than this, but I'm not going to bother to switch a blade out for this. So you cut these strips uh, wide enough to fit inside your tin, and you're done. So I hope this tip's been useful. Come back next week.